Go! Go, guys! Go, 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 go! Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to World of Warships. Today, what I have for you is something really exciting, and I believe many of you are going to be super hyped about this ship as well. What is this ship? Ship, you're going to ask next. Let me ask you one question. What is better than tier 5 Japanese destroyer Minakaza at the moment? Tier 5 tier, I mean. How about premium version of that Minakaza? Yes, you heard me right, we are going to get pretty much the same exact ship, but premium version of it. It is called Fujin, and it is going to be new tier 5 Japanese destroyer. Before I get into any further action, I have one more really good news for you. I am actually going to be able to give away one Fujin ship. One tier 5 premium ship for you. All you have to do for that is leave a comment under the comment section down below, leave a like to make me one happy panda and subscribe for more content. Easy, simple, understandable. If you happen to be a winner, just keep in mind one thing, you are going to be able to receive your prize when this ship goes live into the game. Uh, when exactly this ship goes live into the game, I do not know, but I know that this is going to be happening soon. Because as you can see, this ship is in my board for preview purposes. And yes, I have to buy this ship for myself with my own money later on as well. Now, while you are enjoying this gameplay on the background, uh, that was pretty much my first gameplay with this beast, I'm going to talk about stats. And I'm going to compare those stats to the standard Minakaza and you can see why I think Fujin is a pretty much premium version of Minakaza. Fujin was also known as Kamikaze, so the name is pretty much the same as well. Uh, starting with the hit points, we actually have more hit points, 200 more hit points. 11,100 compared to the 10,900. Armor, well, we have no armor, so let's not even talk about that. But the interesting thing is firepower, because Fujin actually has a little bit better firepower. Firing range is the same, 7.6 kilometers. Rate of fire is the same, 6 rounds per minute. Uh, but 180 degree turn time. Fujin has better 25.7 seconds compared to the 30 seconds on Minakaza. And to get 30 seconds on Minakaza, you have to get that upgrade. And to get 7.6 km firing range, you have to get that upgrade as well. That gives you extra firing range. Interesting, isn't it? And they both have exactly the same amount of guns as well. But who gives a damn about the main battery firepower when you are playing with Japanese destroyer? Because we know it is all about a torpedo power. And torpedoes, uh, well, exactly the same. Same range, same damage, same speed. Same. But starting from here, Minakaze is going to take the lead. Better AA defense, 9 points versus 1 point. On Fujin you only have 2 AA guns. 2 times 1 7.7mm guns on board. Maneuverability, maximum speed 37.7 compared to the Minakazes 39.4 and the rudder shift time is a little bit slower as well, uh, 2.9 seconds compared to the Minakazes 2.1 second. Concealment, 6.2 km surface detectability range. On Minakaze, after the nerf, uh, it is now 6.0 km, but air detectability range is going to be the same, uh, 3.1 km. But I have to say that with 7 km torpedo range, uh, those 200 extra meters on surface detectability range is going to make the difference. Sometimes you have to be really super accurate with your launching and with your turning. And the Minikaza is going to forgive you more, more than Fujin is. So you have to keep that in mind. But guys, I believe that much about Fujin's stats. Uh, gameplay on the background was literally my, let me think. It was my second, yeah, my second gameplay overall with this thing. So not bad, guys. Not bad, in my opinion. Uh, but now let's jump into live action and let's see what we are going to be able to do live. Oh, look at our camo, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I, don't, I do not know if this is the most effective camouflage. Definitely not, but it is um, interesting. Actually pretty badass, if you ask from me. So let's use that. I'm not going to use uh, built-in camos. Uh, because I do not want to do that and I'm spotted already. Oh boy, and I have no cover whatsoever. So let's just use my A guns. Let's see what they can do. Let's just use them. Generator 
Yeah. You can't see me, can you? No, pretty stupid thing is... Uh, okay, I can see where enemy is going. And... Uh, wow, just wow. Look in the middle, guys. Look in the effing middle. We have three ships there. Easiest hits in the world for enemy uh, carrier. Well, he's going to turn. I know that. Holy damn, boys! Wow! That dodging, that launching. Wow. That was um, something pretty damn awesome. I have to be honest with you. I like that. But I do not like what is going to follow. 6.2 km spotting range. Engine boost activated. I have to repair my ship. And I am not spotted anymore. Is this New York like... In full stop mode? Seems like it. Seems like it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to launch torpedoes towards him. I might be able to do that, but just... Okay, let's, let's try. Collision. Uh, is he backing up or... Yeah, he's backing up, actually. Okay. In the middle of the ocean, backing up. This is not what you would like to see. Oh, please, 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 accelerate faster, accelerate now. Oh, damn. This is going to hurt. Okay, main turret, critical damage. 26 seconds. And I'm spotted once again. Okay. Launch my dwarfs like that. Slope generator started. Problem solved, sir. Hmm. That robot, though. And goodbye to our bug guys. Two hits and the third hit as well. Devastating strike. New York. Come on. I got away from those uh, torpedo launchers. That was close. God damn, just he has just the time to get behind the cover. Okay. Detected. By what? By what? What? Plane, okay. Some kind of plane detected me. Going to launch my torps with that sequence. Okay. Well, as I am detected anyway, so let me use guns. Maybe I'm going to be able to destroy at least one torpedo. Not torpedo. Uh, fighter. 
I need some fighter help over here. Can't fight on my own with those guys. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Come on, hit, please. Please, hits. Let me see. Three hits. And four hits. And this guy's sinking. Are you still sinking? Nope, not anymore. He had a repair kit available. Sadly. Okay. I have to go in once again. Fighter help. Try to get fighter help from the chat. Maybe my torpedoes are going to be able to catch that guy. Going to activate smoke. I mean, that New Mexico is uh, slow at the moment. He's... Uh, okay, healing up. Yeah, healing up. Alright. Should I use my main battery units as well? Catch up, please. Catch up. Nope. I do not think he's... Those torps are going to be able to do that. Let's use a few... HE shells. Engine boost deactivated. Just out of the range now. Alright. Set on fire. Nice. Some extra fire damage as well. Don't mind if I do. And now I am going for the carrier. If I can do that, but I can't. Someone is still spotting me. I have to go for that Cleveland. Alright. If I have to do that, then I will. But he's sailing away. I think... Ah, uh, oh, New York got really, really nasty hit. But still I have to help out my carriers. Versus Cleveland, it is nearly impossible to do. Yeah, I do not know how I should do that. Cleveland is turning. Well, this might be one opportunity to release my torpedoes without getting spotted. Spotted. 5.8. I got too close. God damn that cliff over here. That cliff is going to get me killed. I simply couldn't turn away in the right time. No, 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 no. So close, man. And uh, we weren't able to get that uh, battleship. Damn. Oh, damn, oh, damn. Our team depends upon you. Our team depends upon you. Hmm. Interesting. So, one verse four. Hmm. Been there, done that. <laughs> Come on. One hit? Nope. Nothing. Well, Cleveland is nearly dead. Cleveland just got um, Clear Skies Award, or was that a carrier? Yeah, it was enemy carrier. Alright. The enemy is about to win.
Come on, Deutsch. Easy Deutsch, easy Deutsch, easy Deutsch. And full speed and left turn. You can do it, guys. Full throttle ahead. That Ruyo needs to be destroyed. This guy was so annoying with uh, his fighter planes. So damn annoying. Luckily, bombers are not the best. I'm not in my uh, main battery firing range even. Citadel. <laughs> Come on, something at least. Ten seconds. I have to survive. Ten more seconds. New Mexico missed. Ten more seconds. Woo! Oh no 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 no! Go! Go, guys! Go, 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 go! Prepare! If I'm going to be able to get at least that Ruyo, I'm going to be super happy about this game. Hit, it's done! <laughs> that was so cool. I'm happy with the game. You can take me now. You can take me. I did what I could, guys, to be able to carry this game. Wow. Toast dodging in the end, and uh, whew. what a game! To get that kind of result uh, for losing is not bad. 385,000 credits and 1900 experience, close to 2000 experience. Uh, what was that? Uh, three devastating strikes, high caliber, and first blood as well. So 11 torp hits, uh, three destroyed ships. And ho 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 ho, I was actually third by experience, even though I lost the battle. Third by experience. Yeah. That threw your Clemson, what a game. Four destroyed ships, 1666 experience. And over 100,000 uh, damage done. Awesome. Fuji, awesome. Fujin. Epic battle. <laughs> Especially the ending, it was it was surprisingly uh, good. But um, this is uh, going to be new tier five premium ship in the game. I'm going to be able to give away one ship as mentioned. To be able to get it, just leave me one comment under this video, leave a like uh, to make me one happy panda, and subscribe as well. I hope you enjoyed. Take care and bye.